All right, boys, we got a brand new boss today called the Phantom Muspa from the Secrets of the North quest. And he might just have my new favorite pet in the game called Muffin. If you're not in love with these forms right here as a pet and the name Muffin, I don't want to know you. So far, I am on a... Uh, where is it? 13kc. We've completed half the, half the collection log. Things are going pretty well. And um, there's no combat achievements yet. Looking forward to that. 2 minutes 56 is my personal best. Now, with my gear set up, you're going to have people, oh, I don't have the Bofra, I don't have Sang stuff. That's fine, okay? If you don't have this gear, downgrade it to what you can afford. If you've got better, like the T-Bow and the Shadow and the Zarat Crossbow, upgrade it. But the key ingredient here is Sapphire Enchanted Bolts, okay? If you have the Zarat or Armadil Crossbow or Dragon Crossbow, take the Dragon Bolts. But we've only got a ring crossbow on the group iron, so we're sending the sapphire bolts on the mithril uh, bolts, I guess. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Mole slippers, as usual, because they are best in slot. We've actually gone with the normal skin color. We were purple, but now we're normal because we look way better in full crystal. It's kind of hot, to be honest. Over in the inventory, we got our uh, uh, eight mage, uh, way, eight way ma mage, eight uh, switch, uh, ring crossbow, and the twisted buckler. And then we just filled the inventory with a bunch of shit. The Forgotten Brew is actually pretty spicy. We're going to teleport. We can take thralls. Like, there's a bunch of different ways you can tackle this boss, but this is how I've been doing it. Now, in my opinion, sounds are quite important here. It's kind of like the nightmare. You want to hear what attack's coming so you can react to it faster. I don't think my recording will pick up the sound volume, though, um, because of the way I've got it set out. But um, make sure you have uh, sorry the sound effects on so you can hear the mage attack. We're going to pre-pop with Forgotten Brew and Ranging Potion. In my experience, the Dragon Claws do work good here as a spec weapon, but I couldn't be bothered bringing them. I find that if he's on this melee phase, you throw on the mage gear and you start smacking him. And it seems to be very consistent with accuracy. I can imagine the shadow absolutely slaps, but you could just camp T-Bow as well and you'll be fine. But just sit here, make sure you get, get a bit of damage, sip your uh, stamina when you can, and uh, we pre-potted. Left click him and him that fucking bah. and he changes color. Go to the range setup, pray range, rigor with the hard ass, start hitting him. Mage attack, mage pray, back to range immediately because he'll attack range straight after. Keep hitting him with the bofa. Back to the mage phase. Throw it on, protect melee, start hitting him. Now what's he doing here? Little tentacles coming out of the ground. Pretty simple. Don't do that, all right? Because that's bad. Start hitting and run. I don't know what happened there, maybe a yellow click. Just keep running away, alright? Now you can freeze him as well. A lot of people are like, yeah, you bring ancients, you can freeze him. You could just run him. I know there's safe spots as well, so you can actually path it and he'll never attack you. Um, I think I saw Weeks had them marked, but honestly, I don't give enough of a shit to do that uh, when fighting this boss. He's already back on his fucking range phase. Let's go. He's back on his fucking boss girl shit. Sometimes you gotta take 10 so someone else can take 5 to the face. Okay, he's back on his mage phase again. Easy. Get the switches out. Okay. This phase, I kind of just. Stand still. I think the both is a bit more accurate in this phase, but um, a friend told me that it doesn't actually matter. Maging him is also. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Hold on. Ignore that. I completely missed every shot. I think the Bofa does better there in terms of accuracy. But the point is, we're doing damage and we're running away and we're not dying. Keep your health above zero. You should be fine. Make sure you guys, if you want to see me do this live as well, I do live stream here on YouTube five days a week. Can you land a hit? Fucking bop! Here we go. Back to the range phase. We do live stream here five days a week on YouTube. Make sure you come by. Don't be a coward. Now, the secret weapon is coming up. You guys know that smite prayer phase, which is kind of cringe. You have to smite him because it's a... I guess it's prayer health more than his actual health. Hold on. Let's get rid of this phase real quick. Leave me alone. We're going to stand here. So when he goes to the middle, which will happen eventually when we fucking land a hit! Right now. All right, so he's in the middle, all right? Put on your mage gear. You want to stand behind the walls here. This shouldn't hit me, I hope. Yeah, we're gaming. Okay, now we want to attack him, alright? Wait for him to attack me. There we go. Then smite, alright? And if we're lucky, which if you have Zara Crossbow, you're extra lucky, the Sapphire Bolt proc will actually fuck him. Hopefully I can- here you go, like that, look at that. Damage, instantly. If you can pop two bolts off in one attack... Oh shit. If you can get two bolt specs off in one phase, you will two hit it. Easily. Prioritize your prayer though, make sure you don't take damage, like... If you have to take the extra time, we hit it again, easy game. What phase is he on range? Okay. Don't get hit, and we're gaming. Sweet. That's about it. So the secret there is the Sapphire Bolt. Sorry, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to, like, get it all done in the shortest amount of time possible for the kill. Move! Thank you. Watch out for the shit coming out the floor. The room will fill up once you've done the prayer phase, so you've got to be careful. And I'm dead. Nope, we're alive, and we're gaming. Look at that. Easy game, easy kill. Any luck? This guy drops fucking shitloads of resources. That's really bad. 666 cannonballs. I will take that any day of the week. We're going to do another kill. I'm going to speed run it though, so you guys don't waste too much time watching. 
And um, I'll just show you the sapphire bolt phase again, actually, unless something important happens. Forgotten brews are huge. Drink them because you don't need attack, defense, or strength in here. So just drink them. Slip, slurp, slop, slap, slip, slip, up those puppies up. Okay, shit. <laughs> don't step in the spikes because if you do, it'll damage you and heal him. Uh, that's one thing to note. Also, it's worth noting, especially when you're in the range phase, because you do a lot of standing still. Uh, make sure you move because when he changes phase, he'll three major attacks in a row. Can you fuck off? So um, when you like down, you see the spikes come up under me like that. They will hit you. So make sure you keep moving between attacks, especially when you start doing a lot of damage because you don't want to get fucked too early. You know what I'm saying? Right, he's gone to the middle. He's going to do his big boy thing, I guess. Put on the crossbow. Start smacking him, dude. Tank a hit. Put on smite and attack him. Go. Tank a hit. Put on smite. Hit him. Go. The spec instantly. Tank a hit. No spec. Doesn't matter. Tank a hit. Mage hit. Fuck. Go. Tank a hit. Instantly. What I like about the crossbow too is it's five ticks, so you can keep a rhythm. So you never miss it. Back on the fucking spec. Let's go. Fuck. Easy game. Let's go. Give me the muffin pet right fucking now and I'll break my fucking dick off and send it to the 69th like of this video. <laughs> Later, piglet. Let's go. Give me the pet. Fuck. Smoke runes. Disgusting. The two kills I get on camera are like the, the fucking worst drops I've had in the game. I've killed... 14 times made 2.2 .2 mil. The gauntlet won't make that kind of money in that amount of time. My name is King Condor, and I approve this message. Subscribe, like, and come to the live streams. Don't be a coward. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn. Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge.